What's going on, men? My name is Paul Newell. I am a men's health and well-being consultant and also a host of the Men Talk About podcast. Uh, if you've been following me on social media, I Instagram, it's um, at New Wellness Guide. And on Facebook, uh, Paul uh, Randolph Newell. You've seen some advertisements of or you've seen some shares of, of a challenge that I took on for myself called Dick Discipline. Um, it's basically a variation of semen retention, um, although rather than rather than solely holding semen or holding back from ejaculation, this this challenge is about channeling our sex energy as men to create something bigger in our lives. So for me, I'm using this sex energy to create and, and, and finish my book. And um, this has been a very interesting journey. So I'm putting this video out here to share an insight um, for me that I'm, I'm curious to know if it resonates with other men. And it may. Um, so what, what I found is in this journey, especially um, being present with uh, uh, sexual activity, right? And my porn, uh, porn use. Uh, or watch porn watching, I guess is the best way to say, uh, what's something that came up for me is that there's trauma behind my, uh, my wanting to watch porn or my wanting to, uh, really just spill over and use, spill over my, my semen and use ejaculation or sex as a tool to numb myself and use porn as a tool, as a, as a tool to numb myself. So this scenario came up while I was on this journey and I, I was in um, a situation with my partner and, um, you know, we're, 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 we're in a transitionary, uh, type of space right now where we're both growing and we're, we're giving each other space to grow, um, while supporting each other. And she said something that triggered me. Uh, and when I felt this trigger, uh, or I felt this activation, I'm going to watch my words. That's another part of this journey, watching our words. So it's rather than a trigger, this was an activation. When she said what she said, it activated me in such a way that I got curious, right? And I had to, and I went deep into meditation and also just into reflection to look at like, what was it that really activated me? What was the story? And the story that came up for me is like, she's going to leave me again, just like all the other ones. She's going to leave me. She's going to abandon me. What? She's, she's going to abandon you, Paul. That's what this voice in my head was saying. Now, as I, um, I've been doing, I did something a while ago called, uh, Omega point program. So it was an opportunity to talk to parts of self. So I was able to leverage that technology to talk to that voice and inquire like, well, talk to me about like, what has you think that way? And then it started to catalog all these women that I've been with in the past that I perceived had left me. Right. And I noticed that when I was thinking about this, the, it was the more I started to shut and closed up, like close myself in, like I'm going to protect my heart. Now I got high blood pressure and high, high and, and heart disease in my family. I got high blood pressure personally. So for me to experience that, and also I did parts work when I was in the hospital for my blood pressure, got to connect. And my heart back then told me, it said, you think you're protecting your heart when really when you get hurt, you squeeze my heart, you squeeze the heart tighter. And this came up again when I heard the, the, the statement from my partner um, and I had a perception and story around it. Like I want to protect my heart and I was squeezing it and I got angry. So now back to this voice that was telling me that they're going to leave me. She's going to leave you like the others. As I kept going back, I recognize that, shoot, man, the original woman that I perceived left me was my mother. Now, here's the thing. Now, when I was born, I come to find out just through history and through my siblings, my mom was in the hospital after I was born because you know, at that time in 75, like having a child later in life was dangerous and she had high blood pressure and amongst, amongst other stress. And... I recognized that at that moment, there was a, that my soul had the perception or the experience of being abandoned, right? Because my mom was unable to really take care of me. It was one of my old, it was one of my older sisters, Marine, that was taking care of me at the time. When she told me that, I was like, wow, this, this really resonates. 
And at that moment, I had a story that lived with me that she's going to leave me or she's going to disappoint me. And the thing is, is that's carried on in relationships. And it's also carried on in how I know myself. So when I was looking at my porn uses, I was, I was really... When I got to really examine and step back, I was like, wow, like this is some pretty degrading shit. And I'm recognizing like, wow, I think this may be the pull towards porn for men. Like, if, and, and, and it's a hypothesis because this is my experience. And like this week, we have a weekly c- call for all the men in, the, in Dick Discipline. So I'm going to bring this up then. Uh, I think it's very interesting to note. And I'm curious, especially when men have an addiction to porn or when men use porn, as a way to um, to numb ourselves or to escape, what are we really escaping? What are we really numbing? What's the trauma there that we get to address that will end up giving us a leg up in our sexual relations, in our relations relations, um, in our relations with the opposite sex or the opposite um, energy system? So if I'm a, if I'm a man and have a majority of masculine energy, whatever that could mean for you, then like, how am I balancing that out with feminine energy? So I put this out here as a, as an idea, as a thought, as maybe a practice to, if you are right now looking at porn and you're free of like doing any kind of semen retention or anything like that. And like, you know, you're ejaculating all over the place. I encourage you to really look at before you go put porn on, what is it that you're escaping? Okay, what is it that you what is it that you may be escaping? Because some people may just like porn. What is it that you may be escaping? What is it that you may be numbing? Because if you start to think of that, then maybe there's a case where you won't even have to watch porn. You may have to sit with yourself and process the senses or emotions or the scenario that's coming up in life that you're that you may be trying to run from. And Listen, if you need support with this, like DM me or like, you know, like leave in the comments and I'll reach back out to you. Um, I do encourage men to start to look at this and to really have more discipline with our dicks because the energy that we have in our scrotum is and in our testes is super powerful. If you think about one sperm can fertilize an egg to spark and grow life. So what can happen when we as men begin to harness that energy to create something powerful outside of ourselves and also harness that energy to do more than just explode or have an ejaculation, harness this energy so we can experience a complete sensory overload or a complete sensory experience to really dive into that connection that we have with our partner. So this is Paul putting this out here. Leave your comments. I'd love to hear what this, how this resonates for you. And if you'd like, share this with another man. Um, and this may apply to women too. Like there may be trauma from, uh, from a masculine, from a male, or maybe from a female too. I don't know. Uh, it's just, it's something again, it's a hypothesis, an idea. It's something that I'm experiencing and something that I'm diving into for my healing and growth. So I can be present in relationships and sexual relationships and in all these things, be present with myself to really know what's coming up and what I'm feeling inside. So thank you everybody for watching. Bless up. And if you want to get involved in Dick Discipline, we got another group that's kicking off in April. Um, shoot me a shoot me a text or, or DM or leave in the comments you want to get involved, and I'll send you a, a form to get on the waiting list. Blessings to you all. Thank you. Take care of yourself and take care of your ling and take care of your nuts because they're all sacred. All right. Bless up to you, man. Peace.